Welcome to Pal World, brothers and sisters. We are in the windswept hills. We've got ourselves a fantastic game here. For those of you who have somehow stumbled here without knowing what this is, these are by the same developers that made Craftopia. And so we've got a lot of good mechanics that they've learned from that game. And now they've added in basically Pokemon with guns in this game. It's amazing. This is an open world survival crafter with Pokemon guns and you can just be you can just be evil if you want to you know this isn't like Pokemon where like your best friends you can put these boys to work here this guy gives you a little bit of wood when you start off apparently very nice so let's see but yeah it's it's wild we've been waiting for this game for some time from those developers and it's finally here and it is creating waves and for great reason so let's follow the tutorial here open the menu and check the survival guide okay cool so it's just giving us like crime if i attack friendly npcs i'll be reported become a criminal be branded a criminal for sneaking into areas around the island where trespassing is forbidden the pidf will come after me that's amazing reminds me of sailblazers where when you commit a crime in there by killing npcs you shouldn't the police just chase after you endlessly. So I'm wondering if that's the same here until you pay a fine or not. That's pretty neat though. So we can punch this here a bit. Grab a little extra wood. We can open the build menu and make a primitive bench. Boop. So you put stuff down with the blueprints there and then you can build it. The great thing is the pals in this game are automation for you. You're gonna use them at your bases to help you build things, help you do work, for instance, I could, they could be making this wooden club for me. Like, why am I doing this myself right now, right? So we're going to acquire that. I'm just going to use that to beat this tree a little bit. Grab a couple bit of items here. We can see we wouldn't need to open the technology screen and unlock the PAL sphere. So it has a technology system very similar to ARC, which I am happy with compared to the technology system they had in Craftopia. So this is great, I think. Whoops, I meant to unlock the PAL sphere. And we, we will need that PAL box too, so that doesn't hurt us. But we need to cr craft a PAL sphere. So if we come over here, you can see a PAL sphere. This is our Pokeballs. We need PAL Diem Fragments Wood and Stone. So good little bit of wood there. Nice. I'm going to grab some stone from this node here. Perfect. At least it gets us started with some resources right at the beginning here, which is very helpful. Oh, look. There's our first little PAL. I'm going to run back here. I want to just make some basic items. Oh, I need a bit more stone. I didn't even see this one over here. I need two more, I think it said. Get a pickaxe so we can do this much more easily. Produce that. So attack pals to weaken them. Press Q to throw a pal sphere. And then build a pal box. So one thing I will say is you do need to be careful when putting down your pal box. Because that's going to set up where your base is. And my first suggestion to everybody is just to make sure you at least, you know, locale isn't the most important because fast traveling this game is very prominent and very good. Meaning, like right here, this is one I unlocked. If I go to this, I can fast travel to any other one that I potentially find in the world, right? Whereas, and then when you're at your base, you can, your base becomes a fast travel box as well. So that pal box you put down you can fast travel to and from that so it's quite amazing to say the least so it's one thing to just keep in mind where you know either f i i suggest find an aesthetic place to live maybe somewhere you'd like but you do got to take a few things into consideration flatness you want it to be flat uh, your pals aren't the smartest thing they have a hard time traversing terrain especially uneven terrain so uh, do keep that in mind oh we got some palladium fragments out of that Nice. Let's come over here. I'll craft. Oh, I need a, if I grab some wood, I can get make a few of these things, which will be good. Good enough for the moment, I believe. Nope, not axes. I want these. So, perfect. Make five. So, we'll get those going. So, yeah, flat will be good. And there are raids in this game, so periodically I, I don't know what the schedule is maybe like every few days or something you your base will be raided either by other pals or maybe some thugs and you need to be able to defend your base or have your boys defend your base I'm hungry for chicken 
get in the box. Nice. Extremely weak and far too delicious. This is one of the weakest pals alongside the Lamble. No matter how many are hunted, they just keep appearing. We got a Kativa down there. Very good. So, like, theoretically here, not a bad spot. You got some trees here. You got some rocks here that'll help you out in the early game. But expansion will be a little harder because it's kind of small. So, ooh, what's that? Ooh, a chest. Yoink. Oh, some pal spheres, pal souls. Okay, a little cash. And then some journals. Looks like we got some journal entries here. I do want to do a little bit of mining here. One thing I do wish was there was a hot bar. You have to use your scroll wheel to go through your items. Not the biggest thing, but for me, when I play games like this, I quite prefer to have a hot bar so I could very quickly swap between my items. But again, pretty small, small item on the list there. Access the pal box and okay, so I can't oh well, I can eat to stave off my hunger real quick. Oop. Eight. I leveled up, opened my thing. So here are your stat points. So you can enhance your stats on level up. Hundred HP, ten stamina, two attack, work speed, or weight. I'm gonna go with weight first. Just because right now I'm gonna be going around and doing a lot of things myself until we can get a base set up. So I want to make sure that I have a carry capacity so I don't have to not do things. You know what I mean? Gonna grab this too. That right there is ore. I'm not gonna bother with it. It's very heavy and we'll use that to make metal later. We're not at a point in the game where that's gonna be too helpful for us. I do suggest obviously filling your little Pokedex out so you can get all the creatures. Chickpea, go! <laughs> egg layer. Sometimes lays an egg when assigned to a ranch. Alright, you are useless to me, Chickpea. Can you go take care of this for me, Lambo? Thank you. Kativa. No! Boop. Lambo, you can come back now. Excellent. Capture five Lambos is my next quest, so that's actually very good for me. So one of the best ways in this game to get XP is you can see I got that first capture bonus down there. And then we'll see that change in a second. Lambo, you can see that went up to a two now. You get capture bonuses for every additional capture you do on a breed of creature up to ten. I don't believe it goes higher than ten. So when you're trying to get XP, and this is what this quest is teaching you here, is that go catch creatures. So this will be good because leveling up gives us tech points as well, which is what we're going to use to unlock more things. There are some, there are a few ways to get tech points too, but that's the, you know, the the easiest and dirtiest one to just kind of explain in the beginning. What is this? Needs a copper key. I don't have a copper key. Ooh, this is a pretty flat spot here, too. That's not bad. Yeah, I know. I need to build a pal box. I'm not there yet, brother. I'm not there. Oh, look at all these lambles. Oh, this quest is so easy over here. Now, you could have your pals do it, but then you just have to remember to make sure... Look at that. Bam. Big bonus is there. Then you just need to make sure that they don't kill them by accident. So I'd rather just do it myself for a moment here. Okay, I'm out of pal balls. i just build another workbench real fast here. See if I can build some more. Because I know I got some more pa paldium there. And I would... Yeah, I just need some wood. I would like to gain just a good amount of XP just while I have all these lambles here. Right? And you can see here, the next quest right there is just saying capture 30 pals to increase my level so uh, you know it's just really driving home in this tutorial here that you you level up very quickly by just playing the game and actually capturing pals which is great you know one thing i had one issue i always had with craftopia was that it was super grindy right and you just had to sit there and wait but now there's i feel like there's more action in this which is very nice okay i'm gonna just acquire that capture you you guys are getting very rambunctious here and getting ahead of yourselves, okay? 
in the hole you go. Thank you very much. So look, I've got an eight bonus there. You can see my bonus XP was 51, so that's huge. I'm level five, which is crazy, honestly. So I'm gonna grab these and then really what I wanna do is just kinda take a walk around. I wanna find a good place for a base. This place actually looks really nice. Downside is it's, you know, this area is like a really beginner area, but we've got some, some berries there. We got some metal there. You know, this is very nice looking with the the waterfall here. The only issue here is probably this, right? Like, I don't know if you utilize water for anything. And because I don't believe you do, that could be wasted space. Now I could be wrong because I don't I don't know, right? Could very well be things to do with water. But you can have multiple bases, but I suggest making sure your first one's uh, just a pretty decent spot for you. All right, 10 pal bonus, so an extra 60 there. 10 pals complete. Very, very nice. So look at that, we got Kativa down there. And the good thing about filling out your little Pokedex here too is just, you know, you can learn what these pals do for you. They all have different battle mechanics and they all have different, let's say, base mechanics, right? They have production values. They'll all work for you they all have a different level of skill. So if I go to the PAL deck here and just look at Lambo, for instance, you can see work suitability, kindling, planting, handiwork, lumbering, medicine production, transporting, watering, generating electricity, gathering, mining, cooling, and farming. The, and then he's only level one in handiwork, transporting, and farming. So that means he will only do those things. But those are all the options available. So like you can compare him to say like Kativa here who does handiwork, gathering, mining, and transporting. Then Chickpea is just farming and gathering. And that farming is more like more like pasturing or animal husbandry. Well, no, I wouldn't really say animal husbandry because that has breeding in mind. But it's more like putting them in a ranch and then getting gatherables from them specifically like how you put a chicken in and they give you eggs or like a sheep will give you wool. A cow gives you milk. What is that? That's not a tree. Oh, level 38 Mamrest? Yeah. Ooh, a penguin? Hold on, that's new. Excuse me, coming through. Excuse me, big guy. Need all the new things here. Oh, man, they're fast. Well, you're fast. Oh, that's neat. Coming up here, there's an egg on the ground in some weird tree and an effigy there. Hey, you. Don't jump. You're a little higher level. Hey, just in case you're trying to run from me. I summon you. Definitely gonna need better weapons here. You know, a hatchet's just not cutting it. Get it. Boop. 67% chance. Get in the ball. Get in the ball. Get in the ball. Yeah, get in that ball. What the hell? Did I just climb on the ball? <laughs> I didn't realize it was tangible like that. So we'll grab this egg, a scorching egg. So there's egg incubation in the game. It'll come a little later. Ooh, that made me nervous. It'll come a little later, but not long later. A life monk. So what is this? An earth skill fruit? What? Fruit trees? I got electric skill, lock on laser, tri lightning, and stone blast. I'm gonna hold those. What is that? Monkeys and a deer? Okay, I don't think I'm gonna handle the level 10 at level four. Oh, look, a little pal orb on the ground. Yoink. Boop. Get that tansy. He is stuck. Well, what's happening over here? Excuse me, coming through. Syndicate thugs. Oh, they're getting rocked. They're level 10 and he's level 5, so I don't really think this is going to go well because they're... Oh, man, there's a lot of them. Yeah, you come back, brother. We're going to leave those guys alone. Bunch of syndicate thugs over there. No, thank you. Oh, oh they're shooting at me. See you later. T-Fant. Hi. Hello, hello. What is that? A boss. Level 11 chillet dancer on the plains. Okay. You get in the ball. Boop. 
Kansies next. Large amounts of water pour out what is thought to be its nose, though some say that it is in fact just snot. Sparked a fierce debate among pile scholars. Oh my, they're here. <gasps> Wait, lure them into the boss? You're friendly to me, big guy? Go take care of him. Help him out. Help him out, big guy. There he goes, you got shot. <gasps> Do you think, oh my word, can we cheat? get cheeky here? How many balls? I've only got three balls. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's a catch rate here on you. I can't, I can't see the catch rate. I know you can catch them, but I don't know what the catch rate is. I'd rather him try and take a few of these out here for me. And maybe I can catch the boss. All right, I'm going to try and catch one of you. Oop. 7%? Oh, boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to just try and maybe get lucky with the chillet here. No, I am not. Good job, chillet. I'm just going to grab these. I appreciate you. You got rocked! I don't think this is going to do anything, but we'll, uh, we'll, we'll play the game. Syndicate Thug? Come on, Syndicate Thug, help me out here. Earliest boss battle ever? Oh my, that stung. 2%, yeah, this isn't going to work. You just come back, big boy. I'm sorry for disturbing you, but thank you for the egg. That's just an edible egg, it seems. There's a monk. Oh no! Syndicate Thug, help! 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 Ooh! Not going as planned. Not going as planned. All right, we're getting out of here. It's getting dark, so I'm just going to be roaming around at night and trying to find some new things. Here's something new. We got a daydream here. How does the chicken fight? All right, I like that. Just going to find a different one. Syndicate thug over there. My guys don't have any ranged attacks on me. What is that? Depresso? Hi. I have a chicken. Who, oh, who can be depressed with a chicken nearby? Yeah, get him, chickpea. Bunch of stuff happening down there. Who creates daydreams? Jeez. Ooh, chickie's going down. Get him, Lamble. Come on. There you go. I hit him with the distract. Go get that one. Nice. Oh, nope. We, we didn't catch him. <laughs> I said nice and we didn't have him. Embarrassing. Hey, get in the ball. So it looks like we got nighttime creatures too. Don't die. What are you doing to me, big boy? Oh my. Get in the ball. Stay in the ball. I only got one left. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I died. Oh no. I couldn't climb fast enough. Dropped all items and equipment. Well, that's unfortunate. Good news is it's daytime. So let's just go pick these right back up. Oh, we can respawn at all these other places too. Oh, that's handy. We're not going to, but you know, handy. I also just found a fire sparks. I'll show it to you in a second. Oh, we caught it. Cool. So fo or fox sparks. It's pretty cool looking here. This thing. Little fire EV. So we got like a little flurry on there. All right, I'm here for it. I had to build one of these real fast, which is why it took me a minute there because, ooh, they all learned air cannon. Sounds like a ranged attack to me. What level are you? Level five. We can go take out these thugs. Oh, there's a lot of them. Look at that. I'll take you back though. You're pretty weak. Chickpea, go get him, baby. I don't really have any real weapons here, so if you're not into this chickpea, we're just gonna have to leave this as is. But I'm wondering if I can distract him because there's gotta be something in here, right? 
Well, I'm gonna take you back real quick here. Grab those things that you dropped from me. Yeah. And then let's go inside the base. Yes, there is. What is that? <gasps> it's Pikachu! Don't worry, baby, I got you. I, I, I crit rolled my stealth check. You're, you're safe, buddy. You're free to go. <gasps> I got an electric organ out of it. Wait, do I do I get him? Or do I just, you know, get to be a... <gasps> I do get him. You're in the team, baby. All right, Lambo, you... Actually, Lambo's doing pretty good over there. You can just keep it up. What is that? Kremis? So it looks like these areas have a... A pal stuck inside there. Which is great, so you can find some maybe maybe not like unique pals, or, but maybe unique to this area pals. Which is very nice, either way. Either way, I'm happy. So I'm gonna go, there's a fast travel here, and there's one over there, so I just need to go pick those up just so I can get better map access. And like I said, I'm just going around, I'm trying to find a good flat area for a base that maybe doesn't even have that much like, it doesn't have, quite have a fast travel near it either, because then I can benefit from being able to get to a new area more quickly as well. You didn't kill that. Wow. What a good boy. What a good boy. Good Lambus. And there's a little thing here. I don't know what this is. So, like, syndicate something more Fox Sparks down there. If you want to know, these are where you can find some Fox Sparks, apparently. They're really cool. They were doing some, oh, they were doing some big damage to me. So he's definitely going to the team. Seems like a nice ranged attack guy. Rain Syndicate Tower. Join boss battle. Nope. Nope. No thanks. No thanks. <laughs> Not here for a boss battle. However, anything cool out here? Lots of Paldium there. I was trying to see if there's like maybe some secret eggs hiding in these crevices, but there wasn't. That's all right. I might go back for that other fast travel later. I just kind of want to keep progressing over here and find a new home. As I was just searching around here, look at this. What is this? A rocky egg? Oh, heck yeah. I don't know whether we're going to get out of that, but we just caught a Vixie too. Looked kind of like an Eevee. So it's the non-fire version of Fox Parts. And we got, we got a flock. <laughs> Shut up. We got a flock. Go Lamble. Air Blast. Dodge roll. Roll out. Boop. One more hit, please. Thank you. I'll get a hit on him. Two hits. I only got one ball left, so hopefully we get a good capture here. Thank you. Nice. What the hell? Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, what was that? Okay, I'm not jumping on those anymore. I'm going to keep looking around a bit longer, but actually where we died here, super flat. Look at this. There's even a metal node right there, some stone laying around. That's actually really nice. I'm gonna I'm gonna peruse this area, maybe check this island out, see what else is here, but that could be a good thing. I don't know if these things will keep spawning here. But maybe if when you have your base down, monsters no longer spawn there. But even if they do, free labor. Oh, there's even a node up here too. Wow. This might be the spot. We'll see. I found another boss, the King Paka. We'll definitely be visiting you later. I wanna capture a thug. I have a green ball in here. 17% chance, 49% chance, 100% chance. Syndicate thug, a captured human on Pal Palgris Island uh, is considered inhumane to capture humans. Well, I think it's inhumane what they're doing to these pals. <laughs> it's even less humane of what I'll be doing to these pals later. Yeah. I've got my boy over there distracting them again while I sneak into their camp and steal their pal i don't have this one either we got a mole thing is it far-fetched what was it a fuddler what is this where am i 
That looks dangerous. Large claws boast of diamond-like hardness. Sharpening these claws consumes most of its energy. Does spend most of its entire days doing nothing. <laughs> nice. Found a couple things just right around the corner here. A chest. Nothing great in it, but however. No. Ah! Oh no! Not to play. There's an egg here. This is what I was really after. Oh, oh. Okay, cool. Grabbed it in time. Excuse me coming through. I just want this egg. There's an effigy out there, but I don't want to swim and climb out there. So I need to get back up here, though. And I've got these guys chasing after me, so... Oh, he can't fight. Can I even throw you up there? Kind of. Oh, my word. Brothers, sisters, we found it. This is where I'm living. Look at all this iron. Oh, my God. It's so flat. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is... It's not the biggest place, but man, we could I could probably get up top. We're living here. I've got so much room for activities here. I love this. Okay, cool. So we go over here to the PAL box. I don't know how wide this thing gets, so maybe I want to go like over here more so. Work out to that area. I'm not sure. I guess I'll place it here for now. I really mm, I'm super unsure. I wish I could see the radius the heck I wish I could see the radius of this okay I'm gonna put it right here I'm, I'm doing it send it it gets bigger when you level up I just I don't know what the base is and I don't know how big they get so I think oh you know what is that oh that's it right there oh wow I've already got this whole thing encompassed oh I might move this then because I don't really think I care about anything down here do I I sure don't Oh, hi. I care about you. Some arrows and coins. Nice. I think I'm going to destroy that and build it up top. And then, because I think it gets bigger. That's what she said. B, C, destroy. Yeah, I think I just build it up here and then maybe I expand downwards. I think that'll be fine. Oh yeah, I can see the line. Even if it never gets bigger, I'm happy enough here. That is not what she said, by the way. Can I not? Oh, it's based on, is it based on the way it's facing? Oh, I see. No. Put it right there. Build this up. Oh, baby, we got the base now. Where am I? I didn't even like, I don't even know what I'm close to on the map. I'm just, this is two levels of flatness here. This is huge. Like I could build a house. I could have so much room for activities up here. It's crazy. Let's see. So that's where the alpaca is. Oh, wow. There's no, well, I don't know if there's a fat, not a fast travel around here. I just haven't found one, but this is a great spot. It's so flat. Oh, we can get people working down here. Hopefully that expands out. So here are my pals. So, like, you know, you can get your pals to be working at the base here. Like, hey, get the get the tansy here. He's like, hey, what's up, brother? For me, what I would probably do is... I can't do anything with him. I was going to say, like, pick him up and throw him down there. But, because... They're not going to do much up here for me. I think I'm going to have most of my workers down there. So I'll throw them down there. But I need to build a wooden chest. So let's see. So we just go to technology, wooden chest. So it seems like that's a mandatory item I have to do. I'll grab a some wood. I've got my Lamble out with me. So they don't even have to be at the farm to help you. You can just have them summoned as well. And they will help you. So that's great. Let's sort this real fast. I'm going to put these power fruits away that we found. These skill fruits. I don't know what I want to do with them yet. Same with the eggs. I need an incubator for those. So that'll take them in. I guess I'll just put the ore in here too. And lastly, I guess the low grade medicine. Just to clear up some space real quick for stuff I may or may not be using. So now we can upgrade. So let's just go over here and hit V. Maximum pals at the base. Is this going to get wider? So as a reference, it's like barely touching that one node there. Okay. So let's see if this gets bigger. 
That's not what I wanted. V. Upgrade. Oh, it might not. And you know, at the end of the day, I'm not as upset, but if it isn't the best, I mean, maybe if these don't get bigger, I will move that downwards instead. Honestly, that's probably enough metal anyways, but I'm not going to make the most out of it. We'll see. I'll look into it to make sure, like, if this doesn't expand, when we come back next time, I'll just have destroyed this, put it back down there so all of those iron nodes are in there, and then some of this flat area will be in here. Maybe this will just be where I put my house, and, like, me stuff can be up here, and then all of our worker bees will be down there. But all right, brothers, sisters, if you're loving Power World, hit that like button down below. Be subscribed as well so you can always back here for that sweet, shabby content. And until next time, stay shabby.